Hi, I'm Glenn Orpheus, and this is my review of the Psy Russia FR100 folding mountain bike. So firstly, let's go over the specs of the bike. First of all, we've got a 27.5 aluminum alloy folding frame. The front shocks have 135 millimeters of travel. However, there are no adjustments on the front forks, so just be aware. The grips are the big horn end grips. Now, they're reasonably comfortable, um, as long as you don't hold them too tightly. The brake lever is a Shimano MT200 oil disc aluminum alloy brake lever. And the brakes are the Shimano MT200 oil disc with a 180mm disc at the front and a 160mm disc in the rear. The front wheel is the Arc 14F. Now these are 27.5 inches and have 10 blades on each wheel. The tyre is the Kendra. 1153. These are 27.5 inches by 2.35 inches wide. There's a three stage chain wheel at the front with 22, 32, and 44 teeth respectively. The free wheel is a CSHG209, which is a nine piece positioning cassette flywheel. The shift levers on left and the right side of the handlebar are the Shimano SLM2000 three speeds on the left hand side and nine on the right. Folding the bike couldn't be simpler. Just lift up this catch, pull the lever out and the bike will fold quite easily. Resting on this lower bracket. Folding the bike is quite a simple affair. However, please note, you do need to loosen this Allen bolt first. And what I would suggest that you do after is that you relock that Allen bolt, just so you don't lose it. On the handlebars from left to right, we've got the Shimano brake lever, we've got the on the left hand grip, and the front crank gear selector, one to three. On the right hand side of the handlebar, we've obviously got the grip, the right hand brake lever, and also the nine speed gear selector. Three times nine is 27 for the full gear ratio of this bike. The bike seat is fairly comfortable. No, it's not gonna win any awards. For the most part, I found it fairly comfortable for me. The bike only comes in this one color, but actually it's a really nice finish. It's a nice matte black with the highlighted Cy Russia orange logo. Overall, I found the bike quite striking to look at. One thing I did find a bit unusual, but it's also a nice addition, is that the mountain bike comes with a kickstand, which is a little bit unlike most mountain bikes these days. That's normally sort of reserved for e-bikes because of the, how heavy they are. The bike was fairly easy to assemble, in fact, I had it all up and running within about 25 minutes. The minimum height requirement for this bike is 5 foot 7 inches. Folding the bike couldn't be simpler. Lift up this catch, 
pull the lever out and the bike will fold quite easily. The welding by the join is all done very well and looks and feels quite sturdy and not something that I'm worried about failing. The bike doesn't come with any fenders so if that's a problem for you then just be aware. However in my testing I didn't find any large amounts of mud or dirt going up my back or over my trousers etc so it was fairly good. One thing that I did find a little disappointing with this bike was that the blades on the wheels have stickers on them rather than it being painted on the actual um, blades themselves. Overall I found the bike very comfortable and smooth to operate. With its 27 gears, it makes light work of any kind of hill or flat surface. I found shifting through the gears quite smooth and reliable. Personally, I think this would make a great commuter bike for somebody. It's fairly lightweight, foldable, which means that you can carry it around or stick it in the boot of your car or if you need to save space at home. Will I be giving up the e-bikes and using the FR100? Probably not. Is this because it's a bad bike? No, no, not at all, not at all. Um, I suffer from a lung condition called COPD, some of you may be aware, um, and my lung capacity isn't what it used to be. So hence the reason why I first bought an electric bike. Nonetheless, it's a very beautiful bike it's lovely to ride because riding on the flat for me is still super smooth and super lovely it's just for me when hills come into the equation i need that electric power to help me with a current list price of 599 i do believe you're getting good value for money with this bike and also it's quite stylish and a bit of a head turner again from Cy russia well that about wraps it up from me if you've got any questions about the bike, then please put them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them. So that leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and until the next time, bye bye.